So my replacement solar controller finally came in. They may let me keep the old broken one. Looks the same. And this time I got some fuse holders and I'll put a 30 amp fuse on the battery side. That should help quite a bit. Whenever I went out to get these fuse holders and the fuses, I forgot to get little crimp connectors to connect the wires together. I, I entertained the idea for a little bit to solder it together, but soldering might introduce a weak spot to where it might melt away if too many amps are pulled through it. That would act as a fuse, but I wouldn't know at what amp level it would turn, it would break. So I happen to have these little connectors left over from my electric bicycle project. And I'll just put those on there. That looks pretty good to me. I was going to put one on this side too, but I don't want to use up all my connectors. I only have a couple of them left. I'll, run, I'll have to get more of those, but I might put one of these fuses on the input later on too. That would be a lower setting though, probably like 10 amps. Well, I didn't realize this. I put this on the wrong wire. I was wanting to put it where I have both of the big ones go to the batteries, and both the small ones go to the solar panel. But now I have one big one and a small one going to the battery, and one big one and a small one going to the solar panels. But it actually might work out okay, because these, the wires with the small Mueller clips on them are shorter, so that means if they're dangling down, they won't reach. And also, this one is on there very lightly, so if I ever need to quickly take it off, I can kick that, and it'll pop off. Whereas the bigger ones, they're on there with a nice grip. Looks good. Let's connect it up. It's a shame. It's a shame they make these wires the same length on here. Four point six amps. And it's gone down to float charge. In order to continue doing experiments with this, I'm going to have to start pulling a load from these batteries. Oh, one battery. I forgot to connect up the other battery. I need to connect up multiple batteries and then start taking load from them. That would be good. And I also need to start using the other panel too. Sometimes I forget I have two panels now. I'm quite happy that they sent me a replacement on one of these. I'll probably open it up and see what the part numbers are on the parts that fried on the other one. Then I can see about replacing them on the other one and having two working controllers. And I won't feel bad about modifying the other one. That is if they let me keep the other one. I'm thinking they will though. So it's limiting the current down to almost two amps for that one battery. Right off some, some other batteries. Let's charge them. This is the first battery I ever got from the recycling skid. It's taking a little bit more current now. This battery's bubbling. Well, this is slightly odd. It's still on the float setting, but it's only giving 2.8 amps. Just a minute ago, it was still on the float setting, giving almost 5 amps, and it was keeping the battery at 14.2 volts, a little bit higher than I'd wish. But now it's at 13.8. That's odd. And it's not like the voltage of the panel's gone down. Battery's at 13.7. Panel's at 18.9. Perhaps it's supposed to keep it at this voltage. I don't know. I'd rather it be at 13.7 than 14.2. The batteries would produce a lot less hydrogen at 13.7 volts instead of 14.2. 
These batteries have a nice amount of liquid in them. I'm just going to add a little bit more. There's a couple cells that are a bit low. Oh, see, now it's gone back up over 14 volts. It's odd how it fluctuates like that. So I'm going to use this 400 watt inverter to take power from the batteries. So we have the sunlight coming down to the solar panel, going through the charge controller, into the batteries, only three batteries hooked up right now. And they're sitting at 14.14 volts, or about there. They're going into the inverter, through the extension cord, into my bathroom. And it comes into the window and to this three-way light. So we have 30 watts, 70 watts, 100 watts. Fan's going, so it's running. It's, it's kind of warm, but it's only been on for like a minute now. Voltage is down to 13 volts. It's going back and forth between bulk charge and float charge. Float charge is whenever it turns it off, so well, that's not good. Piece of plastic's broken in there. Oh well, it's still working though. I want it to stay in bulk charge because that means it's letting all the power through. But oh well. 4.3 amps, awesome. I'm thinking 100 watts is a bit much to be pulling from this right now because I don't have it set up with thick enough wires or whatever. So now it's only pulling 30 watts. The inverter fan has stopped running. Evidently it can put, it can convert through 30 watts of electricity without it getting hot enough to require it to turn on the fan. Voltage is going back up. And it's still going between bulk charge and float charge. But it sees the batteries at 13 volts. I think I'll leave that bulb on at 30 watts all night and we'll see how this system handles it. It's now been about an hour and as you can see the sun's going down so we don't have full sunlight. It's strange how it still goes down to float charge even though there's not very much power going into this controller. That's odd. It means it's very, it's very wasteful. Anyway, voltage is at 12.42 volts. It's not too bad. I was hoping it would stay up a bit higher though. I would really hope to have these batteries never go below 12.3 volts. It'd be really nice to never have them go below 12.45, but... Hmm. We're outside. It's been about, oh, I'd say like six hours or so. There's the bathroom with the 30 watt light going. And unfortunately, it's very wet out here because of dew. Look at that, wow. See what voltage is at? 12.14 volts. Eh, I'm gonna turn that off. I kind of forgot these batteries weren't fully charged. I was thinking they were the other ones for some reason. Oh well. And you know what? I don't want I don't want moisture to damage this, so I'm gonna take that into. And I'll come out tomorrow and set this stuff up so it can have better charging. one of an amp. That's pretty small. The batteries are at an okay voltage though. Let's let that charge, if it gets any charge at all. It should be sunny for about four or five hours later on in the day though, so that's good. It's now the next day. It really didn't charge that much yesterday. Let's see how it's going today.
Oh, a full kilowatt hour. Awesome. It's going along nicely. Let's see how much power we made. Oh, whoops. Okay, so. One point two kilowatt hours. I have made my first kilowatt hour. Awesome. Twelve point eight volts. Wonderful. My first kilowatt hour. One point two kilowatt hours. Now that is awesome. Now, what I'm going to be doing is making more jumper cables. I'm going to buy probably a bunch more of these Mueller clips right here so that I can make more jumper cables because I, I have a bunch of thick wire, 14 or 12 or whatever gauge wire this is and I'll make probably like 10 heavy duty jumpers I, I may just go with bigger jumpers like this but either way I'll get some jumpers that are big enough to clamp onto battery terminals and that way next week we can work on connecting all the batteries up because I have six I should have about eight batteries that are good enough to put together. And I have like two or three that might be good enough, but I'll have to inspect them because I would hate for them to be a weak link and kill all the other batteries. But yeah, I think eight big batteries would be good enough. Because each of these has a minimum of about 60 amp hours. Like for instance, this one is a 5160. And I think 60 means it's 60 amp hours. That one's 26R60, so 60 amp hours. 75 5 YR. I'm thinking that's 75 amp hours, but I could be wrong. These names are difficult. But either way, I can treat them as having 60 amp hours, and I only want to use about 20 amp hours of each one, because I wouldn't want to discharge them more than down, lower than, 30, uh, than like 70%. So I have a good like 30, uh, 320 amp hours that I can use with a reserved like 600 and some after that that I could use but it would damage the batteries. This is going to be awesome. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. See ya!